The famous American writer, philosopher, and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson is the author of an interesting quote that says, "What you do is speak so loud that I cannot hear what you say." This sentence reminds me that our words are affected by what we are, and in truth, many times what we say is affected by how we say, or in other words, the way affects the content. One classical example of that can be illustrated with a story that I have read about a student that sent a letter to his parents saying, "Father, I need money. Please send me as soon as possible." The father, when received such letter, became upset with the son. The mother, without understanding, asked the husband, "What have happened?" He then read with a threatened voice, "Father, I need the money. Please send me as soon as possible." The mother took the letter and said to the husband, "My dear, it must have been a mistake. It's not what is seen here. How come? I have just read. It seems he's not upset. He is worried, my dear," said the wife. And with a sweet tone, she read the letter. "Father, I need the money. Please send me as soon as possible." After listening in that way, the father answers. Ah, in that case, let's send him the money soon. The Bible says the importance of using the words in a wise way. In the letter that Paul sent to the Colossians, chapter 4, verse 6, he declares, "Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone." Can you see? We need to talk the right thing in the right way at the right time and to the right person.